Hey, thank you all for tuning in to the land show this week. Brian, it was good to have you in. we got Brian Watts with our uh, timber sales division with Southeastern Land Group. He's filling in for Dave today, so appreciate you being in the studio. and. Felt, felt like we had a good show today. And we did. I appreciate you letting me be your wingman for the day. So. Absolutely. Well, good deal. We had Lisa Beasley with the market at Prepper Place in Birmingham. Talked about all the fantastic stuff they've got oh, yeah. going on up there. You really need to check out uh, the Prepper Place Farmer's Market. And then we talked to Jimmy Mitchell with Quill Forever. That's right. Jimmy provides some great information regarding what uh, the habitat restoration uh, throughout the state with Quell Forever. We appreciate him being on the show. Yeah, and then we went down to the Panhandle of Florida, talked to our good friend Daniel Hadamaki, and uh, he gave us an update on all the things that are happening with the recovery of the timberlands down there. And yeah. man, that Hurricane Michael was extremely devastating, and he, he gave us a good update on some of that stuff. And then we went to visit our friend Russ. Yo, oh, Russ, he's, he's always good for a, a good story and uh, update on the uh, peanuts and cotton uh, down towards South Alabama. So, um, so it's always good to talk to him. Yeah, and then Brian answered a listener question about what types of hardwoods you can plant in lieu of planting pines on a property. And yeah. uh, you, you gave us some good information. And then you recently listed a, a fantastic timber track. I tell you, speaking of, of, of hardwood timber, uh, Scott and uh, Jesse and I listed a phenomenal, phenomenal, Jonathan, you don't see the, in my, <laughs> in my, in my career, it, it's, it's toward the top as far as a hardwood, saw timber type track in the Pike Road community. Oh, wow. 250 acres. And uh, what every, county is that in? For uh, it's in Montgomery County. And uh, it's, it's very accessible to the interstate, state highways, but it is loaded in hardwood saw timber. Yeah. And um, it's, it borders uh, Lion Creek on one side of it. It's got duck pond, lagoons. It's if you ever want to take a look at it, give me a call. Um, I would love to show you to show it to you because you just don't see tracks. Yeah, like how, how many acres and what price? Two hundred and fifty uh, acres uh, listed right at one point four nine. Okay, so the highest and best use may not necessarily be timberland, and it is in one of the fastest growing areas of the state. So that's a great Absolutely. Track. So y'all give Brian Watts a call through the Southeastern Land Group office at eight six six seven five one land. And y'all, thanks for tuning in to the Land Show. Lord willing, we'll do it again next week. Thank you.